Hi. So now the question is where to write the Python program. You can write it in the notepad and probably run it using the shell commands. But then that doesn't look good. And also debugging will be difficult there. So we use something called as IDE, Integrated Development Environment, which will have all the features. I will conduct a special class about IDEs, but then IDE is nothing but an environment where you can do a lot of things. So what are the popular IDEs available? Which one are we going to use? I will show you, okay? So <coughs> either you can use VS code. So Visual Studio code is very popular, not just for Python, for other languages also. And industry, at industry, VS code is very uh, commonly used, right? So if you are planning to get into industry, VS code is very commonly used. And then IDLE is there, which is integrated development learning environment. And then Google Collab is there. Out of all these three, we are going to use Google Collab because in Google Collab, writing massive amounts of code for either data science or data visualization or anything, it is very, very convenient. And also sharing the code with you will be very easy if I do it in Google Collab. You to start using Google Collab, it will be uh, almost as same as VS Code. It will be even better than VS Code. So we will be using this Google Collab. I will be sharing all these slides with you in the description. You don't write the notes or you don't write these points, you can go through these slides and you can install them, okay? So how do we uh, install VS code is, go to this link and click on download. Then you can download according to your operating system. You can check in these slides, I'm not explaining it, okay? Now once you download it, then you open the, uh, here there is something called as plugins, okay? What are plugins? Don't worry about it. There is something called as plugins. Just type Python, you will get Python and you install that plugin, okay? <laughs> and this is the first program we have written using VS code. Anyway, we are not going to use VS code. Okay. And then IDLE also you can install it. So go to python.org. Then there is downloads. Click on downloads. Then you can download the relevant Python version. And then you can install Python. Okay. And while installing the Python, you will get these two check marks. Please go through the slides. I've given everything in the slides. There will be two check marks you have to tick. Okay. Don't worry about what they are. They are not important. And then it will set up. And then it, you can open it. You can open it and you can start writing the scripts. Okay. So you can write your program and then you can, there is run option here, right? So run is F5. If you write the program and type F5, you can run it. Okay. And you can also use the ID, IDLE shell. And coming to Google Collab, this is what we are going to use. This is very easy for students or the beginners to start with. And we are using Collab extensively in the lectures because it is very easy to share. All that you need is Gmail account. Just open Gmail account and go to this website, collab.research.google.com. You go through the slides, you'll get it. Collab.research.google.com. Then you can open a notebook actually, okay? Here you can say new notebook in the cloud and then you can type your program, hello world. And whenever the beauty of for this is, you don't have to run the entire program all at once. In between, you know, there will be a play button available. If you click on it, it will show the output till that point, okay? Anyway, we are going to use Google Collab for a, for a lot of uh, programs. So you will get used to it. Go through these slides, you'll understand. Now, if your program is really big, like machine learning or visualization, then Google Collab will be very, very useful to collaborate. And we'll be using it to code, write the text related to the code, which means commenting. So all this Google Collab will be very, very helpful. So we will be using Google, Google Collab in all the lectures, okay? So how do you play with Google Collab? You can create a new notebook by, <coughs> by create, clicking on new notebook. You can open the notebook by clicking file open notebook, which means if you want to create a new program, you create a new notebook. If you want to open existing one, you do open notebook, right? And you will get the notebook and you can select what program you want. And you also, you can download the programs. Actually Google Collab is in cloud. 
all your programs will be saved in the cloud. But if you want to have it in the local version, you can download by using download.py or download.ipy. So I will tell you, uh, I'll tell you exactly how to download, how to use. Everything will be very simple. Let me start the language writing programs. It will be very simple, very easy to use. Okay. And VS Code is best for the code development activities. Basically, industry ready code, especially debugging is easy in this VS Code. IDLE is good for beginners, but then we are not going to use it. And interacting and playing around with, with it, build in Python library. So Python library, you can use it. Google collaboration, there is no need to install anything. It runs entirely in the cloud. You don't need to install anything locally to start coding. Just you have the, you have to have the Gmail account and open the Google Collab create a new notebook and run the python it is very easy and recommendable okay so we are going to use google collab okay thank you hi everyone i hope you have liked our youtube videos which are given for free most of our courses for free but there are some paid courses as well if you want to know about our paid courses please go to the website ravindrababuravla.in. There you can see the list of all the paid courses available like Gate CS, Gate DA. If you are interested in preparing for Gate DS, Gate CA, DA in order to join IITs, then definitely our courses will help you. Even if your plan is not to do masters, doing gate cs will help you will help you get into cloud based companies and doing gate da will help you become data scientists and ml engineers okay and coming to the study abroad so now if you are in a dilemma whether you want to uh, go abroad or whether you want to study gate uh, study prepare for gate and uh, write for the exam please do whatsapp us on the number shown in the website okay you can whatsapp us on this number and there is study abroad program as well. You can go and learn more about it, right? So either you want to go for MS or uh, either you want to go for MTech or you want to join a software industry in a product based company. We have all the courses required on our website and all these courses are amazing courses. You will definitely love it if you are loving the YouTube courses. Okay. Thank you.